Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about fixing another crossfade. This is from Planet of the Spiders. We have a giant spider beaming in from Metabilis 3, and there's a little bit of misalignment blur here. Uh, the camera's actually rotated, and you can see that the uh, mat has moved a bit. Uh, we also have a left, on the left edge, a black bar. Uh, which is to do with the camera moving sideways, I think. And there's also lighting changes as the scene progresses. It gets a little bit lighter. So if you have a look at the before and after shot, you can see that the mandala mat seems to rotate a little bit, and it's definitely uh, a little bit lighter in the later scenes. And that black bar we want to fix as well. So the first step to do to fix this is to make a clean background. So what we're going to do is go into AVI DMUX. This is a program that's uh, it's a cross-platform program, which means you can get it for a variety of operating systems. You can see that uh, as we go through this particular scene, which is towards the beginning of episode two, um, we uh, firstly what we want to do is select the start of the scene there, which is on frame 1090. What we're going to do is actually cut the scenes around this away. So uh, frame 1090 is where it starts. Uh, so what we're going to do is set that as the B frame, uh, which is excluded. So we've got the A frame already set at the beginning of the episode there. That, that little bar down on the left there is the A frame. So now we've set the B frame, which is excluded, and the A frame is included. So that's we've selected everything before this scene now. So now we can actually just cut that away. Um, and now we go forwards 182 frames to the end of this particular scene. And there we have uh, Sarah Jane reacting to the presence of the spider. So we find the first shot after this, this scene. And we set that as the A-frame, which will be included in the selection. So that's moved the A-frame there. The, the B-frame of the selection is right at the end of the episode, so now we can cut everything away, and we're just left with 182 frames of the spider appearing. So if we just go back to the start there, uh, what we can do is save that as a selection of JPEG images. So if we, if we do that, we end up with a folder full of uh, JPEG files. I'll just show you that. So there we go, we've got a whole bunch of files. If we have a look at those, you can see that that, uh, that blue glow is there and there's the, uh, the black border. That, they're present in the scene right from the very beginning. Uh, if we just skip on a bit, you can see that around frame 25 or so, we start seeing the, uh, the spider appearing. You can see that blur happening as the uh, crossfade happens. There's a slight misalignment there. So what we're going to do is make a new background, which has got that metabilis blue glow. And then we're going to crossfade between that, that corrected shot of the, the mat with the blue glow on it and this final frames, which has got the spider on it. So we're going to reconstruct a background and reconstruct a foreground. The background's just going to have the blue glow and the foreground is going to have the spider. So the first step is to rotate the background and fix those fix those first 17 or so frames. And we're starting from frame 0 here, and we've got that blue glow already present, which is unfortunate because if we could have a nice clean shot of the mandala, we could subtract the, the blue glow and, and isolate it. Um, but it's right, it's there right from the very beginning, uh, right from frame 0. So And same with this uh, black bar down here. Um, they're present right at the beginning, so we're just going to have to use, we're just going to have to fix what we've got there. We can't really um, extra extract, the, extract the blue glow off, unfortunately. So what we want to do is rotate that mat um, to fix up the uh, the camera rotation and, and move it sideways slightly as well. So to rotate the mat, firstly we go up to Tools, Transform Tools, Rotate. This is in GIMP. Uh, it's a nice little image editing program, cross-platform again. So you can see in the middle of the shot we have this uh, this circle. What we're going to do is move that. That's the rotate. That's the center of rotation. We're going to move it down here somewhere, 
um, so that when we rotate that mandala mat it'll rotate mostly around the bottom edge so, that, so we'll get most of the rotation in the top of the mat. So I'm just going to change where that center is. So if I'm going to move it across a bit and I'm going to move it down quite a lot. In fact I'm going to move that center right off the bottom edge of the image. It's actually right down uh, it's uh, right down the bottom right hand corner of the mandala mat so it's somewhere down it's even further down here um, so um, and we're going to rotate by 0.65 of 1 degree so that's a negative 0.65 that'll take it in the anti-clockwise direction so here we go just watch that now you can see that it's rotated the top edge a bit more the black bars at a slight angle now so that, get, that fixes the rotation of the mat, but what we actually want to do is get rid of the black border or black bar on the edge as well. So to do that, what we're going to do is open up a frame from near the end of the, uh, the scene. So we just go to frame, I'm going to choose frame 181. Uh, the final frame of a scene sometimes has a bit of color bleed, so it's better to just get the second last frame. So here we go. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is select out the center of the frame uh, and, uh, and just uh, feather that selection a little bit, just to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit fuzzy, a little bit of a fuzzy edge. Now we have to add a transparency uh, layer. Uh, an alpha channel so that when we select when we cut out the center here we end up with this nice transparent middle bit so then we can uh, select everything and copy it and we'll just get that that border there now before we paste it on what I need to do I forgot to actually move this uh, this frame a little bit I'm going to move it to uh, left six pixels and up two pixels and that just that just uh, gives a little bit of movement to the mandala mat just translates it a little bit so that when, when we paste in the border there it actually lines up properly so um, what I might do is just I might just show you what that looks like by merging them together you can see it's aligned reasonably well but you can see this border there's actually there's still a bit of a visible border there and that's because uh, the later scenes, the later frames in the scene are a bit lighter and uh, if we wanted to fix that uh, what we'd actually have to do is l probably brighten up those early frames to match. I won't do that, I don't really, uh, I won't go through all of that right now but if you did that and I, and I have done that for the first 17 frames um, we can get a nicely rotated uh, fixed first, uh, first few frames but well, what we really want to do is reconstruct that blue glow for a, for a long period of time. So we're going to take frames 15 and 16, which have been fixed in this way, and repeat them. If you have a look at this, uh, you can see that they, there's actually two different colors. There's a blue color and a, and a green color. And if we repeat those two frames, uh, we end up with... Repeat those for 180 frames, we end up with that background. And we're, we're going to do the same thing with this foreground here. Uh, what we're going to do is take the last 60 frames of the spider bouncing around on the mat and repeat that a couple of times so that we end up with 180 frames of the spider. So those last 60 frames gives us the spider, the first uh, few frames gives us the blue glow and then we can just crossfade cleanly between those. And here you can see a before and after shot and you can see that uh, it, it works reasonably well. This is the final result. Uh, I think it's pretty nice. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Howe. Goodbye.